Hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and welcome to the 16th episode of my EU4 Let's Play as France. We are doing miraculously well, guys. If you look here at France uh, right now, you'll see that we are ginormous compared to when we started. We've even uh, splurged out here into France. Also, or sorry, England. I just saw it, it said France, so I called it France. Uh, whatever. Um, anyway, if you'll, we can take a look at the world now. I didn't think I, I haven't done this in a while. So if you guys are just curious about what's happening in the world, um, Sweden is giant. <sighs> That's a huge Sweden. I can't wait till their throne goes up for distribution because I would really like to steal that. Uh, Norway as well is uh, pretty normal sized. I mean, they're not getting too her too much uh, flack from the Swedes. Uh, Denmark is completely occupied by Sweden, so I think that's gonna be really interesting to see what happens there. They're, I believe they're trying to conquer Scotland. They might not have the navy to get to Scotland, which might be their issue. Anyway, speaking of navies, the uh, the Argonese actually destroyed a lot of our navy, uh, five sh of our battleships to be exact, but in response we're gonna build 11 more, so I think that's gonna really show them what's what. Um, regardless, uh, it looks like Castile is doing a fantastic job sieging uh, parts of Portugal. I would really uh, not mind at all wiping Portugal completely from the map. That would not bother me in the slightest because if Portugal's gone, there is no other colonizing power in the world besides us and maybe, maybe Norway. But but we can vacillate. We can look for Norway on the claiming their throne. We've always been nice to, or well, we have never had a chance to be mean to them yet, so <laughs> they will have no idea what to expect. We can invest into a new idea. We're getting a peace offer from Argon. Um, we're at 64%, so I don't think they're going to give us what we want, which is basically to restore Castile and steal more places from them. We have much more that we want to do in this, so I'm going to decline that without even looking. Um, We've suffered casualties, yes, yes, yes. But we have so much manpower. France has just so much manpower, this is not even a problem. We can do some more military idea, offensive ideas, and I think that's going to be... I don't know. Let's go ahead and do it. I mean, let's watch our manpower jump. It's going to be huge. Jump. Okay, it's not going to jump at all. <laughs> Alright, that's a nice way to make a fool of me. But it's okay, because we've discovered Molly. And what we're going to do is make a covert fabricated fabricated claim on Kaior. Uh, we're going to need to get our guy back from Argamac. Oh yeah, he's not doing anything. We're already full on that. So uh, we'll, we'll have him stop doing relations once we want peace with someone. Alright, so good job so far, guys. A revolt in Cape Verde again? Are you serious? Alright, fine. We'll just take our troops right across the sea and back. I mean, we got a fantastic general, actually, so I'm really excited about that guy. Alright, let's drop him off right in the port. We do not want to lose our core progress. Come on, go in the port. There we go. We don't want to lose our progress, because as you'll see here, we're at 7%. <laughs> of course, it's because it keeps uh, having dumb... 1505. Wow, that's like 60 years it's going to take to make this dumb thing a core. That sucks. Maybe it'll go faster when we're not at war. If I look, I think you can actually see what's affecting it. Maybe here. War exhaustion definitely costs and can cost more. Hmm. Oh well. Let's just see what's happening. Let's go. We're gonna keep it up five speed and go through the rest of this war here. Well, we want to... Ooh! Wow, look at this, guys. We can gain some base tax, but forget that. We want to let it be. Look at that. I knew we were going to get an event soon, and now we get 30% more national tax fall, er, modifier, which is amazing. That's going to be just a bunch of awesomeness. Now, of course, we can't go above that, so it's like there's no reason to, anyway. Alright, looks like there's going to be some for, sort of, uh, they're invading our vassal here. With only 3,000 troops, that's really sad, Naples. You guys are horrible. Oh well. Castile's almost done with, our, uh, with Argon, so we're going to just... Yes, I love a good story. Cer certainly, we can lose the administrative power, and we can definitely afford the Duke Gods. Alright, so just once we take this, once Castile takes this province here from them, we'll see what we can get with uh, Portugal and stuff. Just to, I just want to make sure that we don't get a sh stupid peace offer. Good, so how's our, how's our claim going? He is at, tw oh, 20% progress already. Fantastic, I applaud you. Well, it looks like Castile's fighting a bunch of their ships. This is the fleet that actually killed all of our great ships. Another piece of her. Not even a look at it because we're just so close to getting 100% war score almost that I might as well just wait. 
negative 28%. As soon as that gets up to enough, we're gonna be fine. Do they have- does Castile have any claim here? Oh good, on Mercia? What about this one? No. Okay, so we're definitely gonna get these things back. Portugal? Let's see what they want. We'll see Beria and- ooh, these two both the Castile. Renounce their claims. Hmm, I think we can still get a better peace offer out of them. So, uh, let's get our guy here to, uh, no, 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 cancel that. Uh, let's cancel the relation improvement because they're already at 200%, which is- or 200 relation, which is impossible to get past. But we're going to vassalize, we're going to annex this vassal soon, so that's why we were doing that. Okay, so let's grab our ships that we just produced as well. We can merge them all here on the coast. Now we should definitely not have anything to worry about in ways of militarily, or, or navally, at rather. Uh, so here, let's get our... Oh, we have to wait 10 days for him to come back. It's fine. Alright, we're going to sue for peace. We're gonna get these guys to go to Castile. Any more for Castile? No, I don't. I don't want any of these provinces for myself, really. So we'll leave that. Uh, we'll make them revoke their cores and all their tree. Now nah, we want them to still be. Are they really allied with? Cor Is Cornwall versing us right now? No. Okay, it's just Portugal. Okay, I was just making sure. Sorry. I think I did. I think I just undid all the things I can. All right. Well, let's just get our stuff. There we go. That's what we want for Castile. We want them to annul their treaties with no one. Transfer trade power, that's nice. And revoke cores on my colonies, thank you. I don't think they got a chance to core Cape Verde yet. I don't know why it's so hard to core then. It's ridiculous. Alright, good. And you can give us all your money. Thank you, Portugal. There we go. And look at that. Castile gains ever more territory with no, no bad things happening to us. And eventually, we'll get all their territory. So Argon's almost completely finished as well, and we'll just feed Argon to them. They gained a core province in marches. Awesome. How how goes the rest of our core? If we manage our overextension here, um, yeah, Norfolk is halfway. I think we had a, a an advantage in marches because we had a claim previously. So yeah. Okay, this is almost done. There we go. Now we're up to eighty-two percent. Let's give these guys back to... Okay, let's see, can we get this one as well? Good. I don't want anything for myself, really. Maybe Naravia, since it costs zero. Just gives a little bit of overextension, 12%, that's not that bad. I don't really want anything else from them besides... Uh... Can we make them release Sicily? Eh, I don't really want them that either. Another treaty with Portugal? No, I like it when they all fight against me. <laughs> Um, okay, so that's the only thing we're not going to be able to get is transferring trade power. But that's fine. We'll take a buttload of their monies. It's fine with me. Good. And now we finally expanded our realm to connect with our ally, great ally, um, in Castile. So we're good with that. There's all our battleships together now, and we can merge them with the other five that we had floating around. Where are they? Where's my other five battleships? I guess I could just look on here. No, that's my army. <laughs> Alright, so there they are, here. Um, let's, let's go merge them with them. Good, so how's my percentage? 43%? Awesome. Is he discovered yet? No. But he does have some risk of being discovered. Wow, poor Portugal. They only got these four, four, one, two, three, four, five uh, territories left. Oh well. They're lost. That's what happens when you fight with me and don't want to give me your throne. <laughs> okay. How are we in the Papal Sea? Ooh, we can get these two. We can get both of these guys? Uh, let's get this one first, and then we'll buy this one back once we get 20 points of influence. And you'll see here, now that we have a lot of money, we might as well spend it on something. Let's go ahead and spend it on building some stuff. Now, it looks like we've got temples pretty much everywhere. It matters. We can't build here yet because it's not done being a colony. 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 Whatever. Um, yeah, so let's, we don't. I don't really care about manpower, nor do I care about recruitment time as of this moment. Maybe later we'll do something. Uh, constables are very important, but it looks like we built them everywhere that we possibly can. Oh, as well as we've taken care of marketplaces, which I'm surprised. I, I thought, good. All right, let's build marketplaces then everywhere because we want to get as much trade power as we can. Good. All right. So yeah, we're done with that. Uh, let's let's retreat all of our forces here. Just make sure that we have them all. Um, where's our fleet? Okay, this fleet is going to assist 
these guys here. Good enough for me. Um, hmm. We might want to take them across the ocean and just, you know, discover the tips of uh, South America and stuff so we can start colonizing there as well. Which is what we're going to do, actually. So, yeah, let's merge all our forces here. We're going to change our economy. We're going to stop paying for our land. Actually, we need to pay for our land forces. And if we can afford it, why not? We're still making buku money. All right. Let's merge our fleets together here. We're going to need to hire a explorer, but that's only 50, to, only 50 diplomatic power. Hopefully he had some movement maneuver. It's okay, good. That's going to help us with our... Um, sorry, what's it called? Um, uh, it's the D word. Um, eh, what, attrition. It's not a D word. It's an A word. Attrition. It's going to help us with our attrition the more maneuver he has. Good. All right, anything... Any more buildings? I really would like to be able to build more marketplaces and stuff. Because if we look at our trade menu or map mode... We can get a lot of trade power by having, if you'll notice, we have lots here. So we get 50% of this 10, I believe, should come to us. And you can see by our trade, actually we're making quite a bit more than that, which is interesting. How much an Antropen and why? Don't we own Antrop? No, we don't. Um, They're actually really low here. What's our, what's our power here? We might as well collect from here instead, because Antropen is not very much, make, not making us very much money at all. Actually, but they're making 9.6 currently in Antropin. So maybe that's something better. I have no clue. What were we making in Bordox here? Seven? Okay. We'll just keep increasing our trade power with uh, those marketplaces and such. And as we advance in the diplomatic tech tree, there will be more things that we can build as well. So, not. Ooh, I want to get the next level of administrative tech. Oh god, why are these guys just sitting here in the ocean? Okay, thank God they're actually going somewhere. I was like gonna like no seven percent attrition ah for no reason. All right, so let's transport these guys, get them on the boat on the beaches, and we will have our transport ships come back because we don't really need them. All right, we'll lose our some equal amounts of power. I really like our plus three stability right now. It's really helping our income. I mean, we would not be making positive amounts of money right now if we did not have this plus 30% to our taxation. Because that, if you'll notice, you know, since France is such a huge land power in Europe, we do have lots to tax from. And besides, we can have our, our uh, we can have our ships go and uh, transport these 4,000 men across the uh, little strait here of Dover. Since they're just, you know, stranded up there by themselves, we might as well merge our armies. And what we're going to do with these guys is kill all the natives. Because if we kill all the natives, it'll just make it easier for Castile and I to to conquer, or to colonize. So we're going to... The reason why we're killing the natives is just because my policy with them is just... It's going to make it easier for us to colonize. Um, we have full prestige already, so there's no reason to do anything about that. Wow, guys, things are going very well for us right now, if you'll notice. Full prestige? Wow. Oh, and if you guys thought Molly had a lot of money, you got you better you can't wait to see how much money the uh, the Aztecs and the Inca and the Native American tribes of Northern America have. All right, we're gonna recall our guy here because I think we should be able to. What? Oh, we have no colonists, and it's too far away. What about this one? Three hundred. Oh. What about this one? How close are we to getting this? Is our core? Oh god, it's so far. Five years? Seriously? Ugh. What's making it so take so long? Can we see? I think maybe we have to look in this stability and expansion. Overextension is taking in Portugal, in Cape Verde. Oh, they actually did have a core apparently. Oh no, that's just their culture. Hmm. It, I don't know why it's not saying. It was really cheap though. Oh well, maybe we. I think once we get a core here, it should be close enough. So let's just send him back. Oh, we lost some stability. That's okay. We'll keep that. Um, ooh, maybe this guy. 20% of our colonial range. Let's see, how far is it away? Three, uh, 20% of 240 is like 30, 25%. So, or 25 range, so no, that's not going to do it. So we might as well look for uh, an, another, another advisor. Can we afford this? Yeah, we can. Let's afford. Let's do this because we're going to need a lot of diplomat diplomatic power. 
to catch up, so we might as well pay a little bit extra and get some more guys. Alright, so these guys don't need to be here anymore, so we'll send our ships back to pick them up after we move our men across the strait up here of Dover. <sighs> Good, I'm glad we took care of that War of Argon. Um, some Castilian rebels, patriots. I really hope uh, Spain doesn't form on me. If Spain forms on me, that would be really saddening. I don't think they will, though. Alright, let's get our boys across. We've gained the Costas, Con Conquest Costas belly. Sweet. Alright, so we're going to enact that as soon as we can get our troops there. So, we only need 17,000 men and you'll see. It's just like taking candy from a baby when you're taking all this territory from these underdeveloped countries. So let's get our boys, our boats down there so we can get our boys back across. Alright, come on. Now, how much more, how much more time do we have? 100? Okay, so that should be done pretty quickly. Especially once our colonist arrives again. I think once we take that, if we still don't have enough range to reach here, we're going to just colonize these two territories just to make up for the... Yeah, you know, we just want to get rid of, stop anybody, any influence from any other power to colonization. I will be the only colonist. Muhahaha. <laughs> also, you'll see here in a minute, what we're going to do is we're going to take this trade region here. This one that's heading straight to, um, to Bordeaux. We're going to take that. And that's um, the Caribbean, I think. I think the Caribbean goes that way. If it doesn't, I mean, we can just take, we can just send it to here, to Cadiz, I believe. Or is it Tangiers? I forget which one's the, the trade node. Hmm. I hate that Morocco has increased corn cost, even though it's right across the goddamn ocean. It's really a pain, for no reason. Ooh, we get a uh, claim on Argon. Awesome, so we can go to war with Argon again. Let's see, have they recovered at all? If they haven't recovered at all, we might want to just go do it right now, because, you know, we can have Castile be our minion and just kill them. Who are they allied with? Portugal and Savoy? I doubt Savoy will come into the war since they're already fighting against Milan, Burgundy, and Osberg, so... We might be able to just handle it with these 35,000 men. We should really start building more troops, honestly. What's our... Why are we losing money? Got a lot of army maintenance. Um, let's see, how much? How many men do they have? I, I It should be low, uh, but you can never be too safe. Um, Argon has completely dis disappeared from this map because of, I'm assuming because of what we did. Okay, they have only 10,000 men. Let's do it. Actually, the Costa's Belly will last for a little bit, so we can just wait for our men to get down there. I don't want any surprises at all. We lost a ship. Ah, eh, that's not good. Oh wow, they're actually really in disrepair. Okay, a, a new cardinal loyal to Denmark. Um, we can spend 30 to take this guy, so let's do that. And then uh, we'll spend the 20 to take it back from Castile. It's not that hard. We can get up to 20 easily. It looks like Savoy stole this one back, did they? No, Castile stole this one from us again. What the hell? Terezi becomes self-sustaining. Awesome, we get and we get prestige on top of prestige. That's ridiculous. Look at our prestige. We're we're increasing yearly. That's amazing for having 100 prestige. All right, so we're gonna send our boys there. Uh, let's have them. Let's have our guys just before we go to war. Um, we're gonna have them kill off all the, all the natives. Looks like we lost some men in the transfer from uh, the other continent. We lost a claim against Brittany, but that's fine, because they're a vassal. Alright, good. Um, okay, so this should be completely safe. There's no... Oh, the reason why we're killing all the natives is just because they, they attack us if we don't. So, if we don't want them to attack us, we have to kill them. Uh, let's get some more tax modifier. I think that's what's going to help us most at this point in time. Now we want to get our guys to... Sh uh, Okay, good. Oh, good. We're going to get our next administrative tech level, which is what I was looking for. We can now construct courthouses as well as we have two things to do. Um, missionary strength is just giving us a random bonus, so why wouldn't we do that? Now, this one gives us less national tax modifier, but it decreases the stability cost. We are not going to do this one because, eh, well, actually, I think we can actually afford minus four. That sounds so bad. For a stability cost modifier, of our four. <laughs> we have nothing. It's okay. And our extension's almost finished. 
Not good. But we want to declare war on these guys. So, do we take out these guys as well? Okay, good. I'm going to have um, my colonists work on both these simultaneously, just to bar anyone's entrance into the colonial game. Okay, so we're going to declare war on them to take Kayor. And if we move quickly, I think we can catch this first army that they have here. If not, we can split up and stop them from... There we go. Right. So we're going to just split up here. They shouldn't... After we take out... I believe that's their entire force. Let's just make a, take a look here. Uh, 14,000 men. Yes, that's it. Right. Now, did our men come down to here yet? Good, they did. And they're killing each other because there's too many of them. That's even better. All right, so let's declare... Is not possible to start... Oh, okay. How long does our truce last, actually? I forgot. We still have this Casa's belly, but we have a truce. I forgot. So we have till two years. So we can wait that long. That's fine. Um, now, what about our claim? Or our, actually, let's see. This is, yeah, five minus five for breaking truce. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. It's gonna take us to negative three again. Um, but how long does our claim last against them? Is it show here or Argon has a conquest Casa's belly against France? No, 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 we need to look at ourselves here. Uh, we have a government form war. Where's Argon? There's Argon. Uh, we have been tasked. France may use this. Okay, so how long does it last, though? It doesn't tell me. Ugh, it's horrible. Oh well. I guess we'll just have to assume that it'll last long enough for us to actually put it into use. So, how much military? Okay, they actually have 10,000. Which is, you, you would think that would be scary, but they actually have terrible. Ah, oh, Castile. They got our guy first. Damn. Oh well. Damn you, Castile. How are we gonna take them take them out of being the cardinals or whatever if you keep doing this to me? All right. So they're moving in some troops. Let's move in some troops as well. We're gonna stop them from doing anything hurting us at all. Yeah, we'll make them hang out in the boonies. And we'll just spread out here. Looks like they're going to jump on us here. I'm going to let them jump on us. There, now we can jump back and kill them. Yeah, we, did, we didn't even get a chance to jump back, I don't think. Oh, they're running back to Bombuk, though. Um, we're definitely not going to lose... Yeah, I definitely don't want to lose stability, so... Anything we can do to avoid that will be something that we can enjoy. enjoy. Okay, good. There's 7,000 in there as well. Let's try to get on them. We need to move here, because that's where they're fighting now. Okay, good. Awesome, we've got some more war score against them. I don't think we're even going to be able to take all their money in one in one war, if you look. Um, yeah, it won't even let us take all 5,000. <laughs> we have to split it up over multiple wars, I guess. So let's detach another siege, have them go to Gambu. Detach another siege, and have them go to Fut Futa, Fuda, whatever. And we'll take our 8,000 men with our leader here our fearless conquistador, and he shall move in and handle any of these guys. Uh, yeah. They're basically the same level as Native Americans, these, uh, these guys. So it's like, imagine that sort of thing, conquistadors versus, you know what I mean. You guys get it. Um, let's just stay here, because it looks like we're about to finish the siege anyway. Yeah, and also they siege really quickly because they have no, f or they have only one level of fort, which is like, they have terrible forts. Got another free advisor spot, so let's go ahead and put up a guy here. Um, we don't need any more prestige, definitely. We might want some... Let's get the administrative tech reduction, because I think we're going to be advancing very quickly now. Especially while we're not at war. Um, any place we can build a marketplace? I'm really curious about this. Hmm, okay, I guess we're going to work, work on courthouses then. Courthouses increase our papal influence, so we can go ahead and get that extra diplomat very quickly. That's what I really am looking at for our Papal Sea. That's why I want it. So we're going to increase our Papal influence as much as we can. Let's recall our guy here. We're going to send him to uh, colonize there. It'll basically paint it blue. It'll take a while and it costs some money to actually you know, pay for this colony, but we, we have enough money. And we're still making money even though we're paying for all of our troops. And we have that kick-ass advisor. Six, wow, we're spending so much on advisors and we're still making money? It's ridiculous. I wish they had the inflation guy. Now, I can't move my men out here because uh, there, there's not enough... Um, of course we're going to make it a core. Um, but there's, I can't move this uh, ship out there because there's not enough 
uh, supply reaching this area as of yet. Maybe once we get this core, uh, which should be done in three years. Could we finish one siege? That's just basically we're going to just leapfrog through their territory with our sieges. And how many men do they have? 10,000. Actually, they've raised quite a bit of an army while we've been fighting them. So they're not to be trifled with. If You, you don't want to have like 1,000 men. You need at least like half or more, I think. Oh good, Norfolk has become our province court. Let's see, how much overextension are we dealing with now? Oh, just a bunch of in Naravia, which is also about to be our core. I think we get a 50% bonus since we had a claim or something similar. Some number like that. Uh, this, these territories in here are uh, wastelands, this, this area. That's why it's so big. It's a, you, Nobody can ever colonize that ever in the entire game. You have to wait until Victoria 2 time period, basically, to actually go move into there, I believe. So let's detach a regiment and another siege here. I think our 7,000 troops should be able to do it. Ah, Naravia. Now we should have a, almost zero overextension, which is going to be really helpful. Good, the Siege of Kaor has gone well. Let's, uh, Kaor, 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 whatever. Um, I think Wajusu, or Wasuju, is their capital. So if we siege that, that should help. All right, and we're not even going to take Kaor, by the way. We're just going to take, um, all their money. Okay, looks like these guys are going to Janine. They should, 4,000 versus 1,000 should be fine. I'm going to split our forces in half, and that should be enough to pretty much defend from everything. Ah, Scotland has something about the Protestant Reformation. That kind of sucks, because we're going to integrate them, and then we have to deal with them being Protestant. Blech. Uh, let's see, what's their religion then? I just want to see. Okay, so it's only in two spots. But hopefully they can deal with any revolts, because right now we're kind of occupied. Especially once we go to war with Aragon. We've got two free diplomats, so let's get one of those guys on... Uh, actually annexing oh we're at war so we'll wait till this war is over then we'll declare war on Argon so that's pretty much set the tone for the rest of the period is that <laughs> we're gonna finish this war so all right good we won the battle of Wajitsu okay we won another siege good uh, we'll move these men up to Jenin let's let's uh, let's merge our forces here because I really want to take this capital quickly I believe this is our capital province Yep, that's Molly's capital. You can tell by the little thingy up here. If you look on this one, it actually has a little crown or whatever. Siege of Bombuk is over in Gebu. Savoy has, has cancelled the military access, okay. Um, and ooh, lots of sieges over at once, so we can actually afford to move quite a few men forward. We're going to dispatch this. I, I want to have my leader up there, so before we siege anything, we move past here. I really want to have my explorer guy up there to help. The Papal states have declared war on Naples. Does that mean they're at war with Argon as well? I wonder why they're not at war with Argon. I thought Argon was, um... I thought they were the part lesser partner. Huh. Let's see here. Is there any disputed secession that might be important? Naples. Ooh, they'll take a royal marriage from us? How dumb are they? Oh well. I, I think the Papal States are going to pretty much demolish them anyway. Let's get our ships out here and just destroy them. Destroy their ships. Yeah, that was like... Basically, we're fighting against canoes. So really, what what's the what's the point of fighting? Of them fighting against us? Alright guys, so I think today's Thursday, right? So, since it's Thursday, I'm going to throw you guys a bone here. And we're going to give you... I'm going to do a really long episode... I'm not I'm not content with just having finishing off this war with Molly. I want to finish I want to at least start the war with Hmm. Ooh, we're going to gain stability or prestige. We have plenty of prestige, so let's gain stability and colonial range. Awesome. Now we're back up to 3 stability. Fantastic. Hopefully this core will come along, god damn it, so we can colonize the Americas. We still can't. We still can't reach it. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Anyway, these 3000 men should be fine. Against their seven, nine, whatever. Um, these guys need to go and siege Drandy. Actually, we'll leave a siege behind and just go attack them with our one. Uh, Sengu has finished as well, so we might as well reinforce our men. I don't know how how well they're going to do these guys. 
because it is 1,000 on 6,000, but I think we should just destroy, destroy their, you know, native population. Okay, good. We won the Battle of Timb Timbuk Siege of Timbuktu. So we can just move in all these troops to help these sieges over here. We want to get to 100% war score with them because that's the only way we're going to get the most money. Argon has declared war under Restoration of Union. Meh. Okay. Let's see, we can invest in more naval ambitions. How much is it going to cost us? How much does it say? 400 and... Alright, we'll take that. Alright, good. Now that should have given us enough range to actually reach here. Yeah, we have no colonists to send now instead of it saying we're out of range. But if we just get the core, you know, we might as well... Because there's we, what we're going to try to get first is the Caribbean. Okay, good. We've got some sieges done here. Good. We'll move these guys to help then. Alright, Somali's almost done. We're going to get a bunch of money. That's what I'm looking for. Siege of Gao is over as well. Good, good, good. Um, ten people influence and we gain Inquisitor. And the natural scientist de Sibun dies. Or we can get in 50 administrative power and lose with Tony. Let's go ahead and get this Inquisitor. Let's do that. Uh, we gain... Oh, our guy died. Oh, having gained experience in rooting out those who do not follow Paul the Inquisitor can use his talents to spot those behaving strangely in government. Oh, huh. Oh, we need money. That's why he won't come. Um, let's get him, yeah. Because he's plus three. We'll take his... Actually, we don't We don't need plus three. We can't afford it. So, um, let's get some more, uh... Let's get this guy. Yeah. Okay, good. And we got all that people influence, so we should be able to at least buy one person. How much does it cost? 20. And this one costs 69. 67. Now let's buy this guy back first. Then once we get 69 points, we should be able to afford that. Um, okay, we can either... Okay, yeah, let's gain... Actually, we don't need the prestige, so... Let's just do that. Save money. Oh, we formed a personal union with Lorraine. Where is that? Oh, that's Lorraine right there? Huh. Wow, that's cool. So we got a personal union for free. Sweet! Now, let's see. There's a... I can't believe Burgundy is still a rival with us. How dare they? Alright, come on, 99%. There we go, 100. Ooh. Looks like we're fighting against Burgundy. This sucks. Uh, they must have declared war on Lorraine. Which was dumb. But uh, let's go ahead and go ahead, French conquest of Mali. We want to get, yeah, all this money.